Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 3 of my Minecraft Scramblecraft survival let's play. So, I said that in between this episode and next, I would break all this gravel that I had so rudely placed in the center of my house, and I started to do it, and look what I got, guys. An iron shovel! So, I'm curious to see, what's the recipe for an iron shovel? Is it something crazy? No, it's actually not. We need glass, which I don't know how to craft glass. And uh, we need rose red dye, which I don't know how to craft. Oh, actually, I do. It's jungle wood planks. Huh. That, that's interesting, because I'll probably never get that. Um, and then, do I have a recipe for glass? I don't think I do. So, we don't know how to craft another one of these. Uh, but the cool thing about gravel is it just kind of randomly drops things. So, hopefully, it'll do it again as I break this gravel. Um, I, I didn't want to film it, because I didn't think anything would actually happen. But it's cool that we actually got something from it. That's how we obtained this iron pickaxe, which is absolutely insane. I was about to actually take the thumbnail screenshot for the second episode. And then I was like, ooh, iron shovel. Okay, let me take that screenshot. It's good that we got the shovel and the flint. I don't think there's anything we can do with flint. I really don't. Uh, we already tried to make... Uh, ooh, try to make flint and steel. Aha! Aha! And yeah, that's the recipe for an iron pickaxe. We'll go ahead and make another one, just just, just, just for good measure. Um, okay, so we get orange dye. Nice. Uh, what does orange wool equal? Because all these different wools give you different stuff. Nether brick fence. <laughs> Well, thank God we have that recipe. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this up. We'll put up most of these. We don't need all of them anymore. Um, I'll put all this gravel down, and we'll just keep breaking it. I feel like we could have a really cool thing, like a gravel farm, maybe? Maybe we'll make a cool gravel farm. I really don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. But let me take some screenshots, and I'll be right back. All right, screenshots are complete. Now let's get on to building a gravel farm. So you're wondering, what's a gravel farm? Well, you saw at the beginning of the video what gravel can give. Uh, we got this handy dandy shovel, so what I'm going to do is get all of this, and I'll explain in a second, but I'm going to get all this wood, and we're going to turn it into iron ingots, <laughs> which is funny to say, and then from there we can make this beautiful cyan terracotta, and we're just going to make a container that we put our gravel in. I'm not sure why I want to do it, but it's just something that I feel will look good. Uh, we can also make iron bars very easily, but I'm not going to do this on camera, so let me do all this real quick, and then I'll come back and talk. You know, I don't think I've ever learned to properly appreciate how nice it is to even have a wooden axe because uh, mining 38 blocks of wood with your hand, it takes a good bit. Um, what's cool though is trees can drop random things as well uh, through their natural decaying mechanism. So we'll come back and hopefully there'll be some cool goodies out here for us to look into and see if we can get anything good. Uh, but the reason I'm getting this acacia wood is because it makes iron when we make stairs with it, which is really cool, right? So we can take literally this and just make iron, which, you know, it doesn't really make sense, but it works, it works. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave the rest of this. I think that recipe was that, and like a boat is like that, and there's just so many weird things. Like that's prismarine, believe it or not. Uh, maybe we'll make it look fancy. We'll take some prismarine, you know what, why not? Um, how do I make iron bars? Um... We need beetroot, so we need to grow our beetroot seeds. Uh, I also need to sleep before it gets too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beetroot, I'm going to go plant it down there. We can make a stone hoe by making a leather cap, but we already, we've already done that. But again, if you guys have missed the previous episodes of this series, you should go back. Sorry, I was a weird hiccup. Um, you should go back and watch them, because you don't want to miss any of this fun stuff. Trust me, this stuff's really cool. I um, only have two right now. Um, our farm is getting bigger and bigger, but wheat doesn't really give us anything useful, so I may just, like, stop growing wheat at some point. Uh, sugarcane doesn't give us anything super useful either, but I just like the way it looks. I wanted to make some stairs, but I don't really have any way to make stairs. Um, but, yeah, I made all this iron for a reason. But I want to make sure... See, look, a gold sword <laughs> dropped out of a tree. See, that, that... It makes sense if you don't think about it, right? A gold sword in an acacia tree? It makes sense. So we have a we have a gold sword farm. Interesting. I'm just trying to make sure there aren't, aren't any saplings around here. What I want to do is uh, break all this grass because I keep missing things because it'll be hiding in the grass. We'll just go ahead and break all the grass around here. Uh, I think I have a bucket. I could have done this a lot faster, but doing it the good old fashioned way, hard work, a little elbow grease is never a bad thing. Okay. There's still a lot of decaying to be had. Is there another log in there? 
Yeah, there is. Okay. See, I was almost like, no, there's not. Well, how could there be a log in there? But that's why this hasn't decayed all the way yet. Um, but yeah, as you break gravel, it'll drop, aside from just dropping flint, it just has a random chance to drop random stuff like a gold sword or an iron shovel or an iron pickaxe. Um, we never tried the iron nugget recipe. That's how this, this whole time we went without uh, ever having figured that out. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to be too large. I wanted to make some iron fence. How do we make that nether brick fence? Okay, it was orange dye. Yeah, no thank you. Oak fence? No thank you. Um, a clock, a bucket, <laughs> two gray wool. I mean, I'm telling you, this mod pack is just, it, it's just insane. There's no other word to describe it. I think insane is the only proper terminology to describe it. Um, I want to be very careful about this shovel because I don't have a way to make more. Uh, the rest, oh, I do have the recipe for the shovel now. I didn't even check what that was. Ooh, I should probably check that because I'm curious. Is it so, I want to know now. Because I want to know if I want to mine all this dirt with this or not. I kind of want to save it for the gravel. Um, okay, how do you make iron shovel? Oh yeah, it was rose red dye, which we have none of. And the rose red dye was hard to make. We don't have glass, that's right. We discovered that. I should remember that. It happened like 10 minutes ago. But I don't. Alas, I don't. Yeah, I like this mod pack because it really does force you to do things you would never do. Like, I'd never make a gravel farm. And uh, just typical vanilla Minecraft, but in this, it's like it's useful because when you when you mine gravel, it can just give you a bunch of really cool stuff. So why not make a gravel farm? Um, and it just sort of makes you it makes you play Minecraft different. And uh, after you've played Minecraft as long as I have, it just you you need that sometimes. You need things to be a little bit different. Um, so oh, where'd my dirt go? Okay. Um, end rods are made with, if you're wondering how I got end rods, I actually discovered that accidentally. Uh, you just put three string, or f sorry, four string into a, uh, into a crafting table. So like you're gonna make a piece of wool, except it gives you end rods. Um, but yeah, let me clear out a little bit of this stuff, because I do want this area to look good. Um, all this stuff has fallen, so let's see. Anything fancy? Anything good besides just normal saplings? No, I don't think so. Okay. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. So what I'm going to do is make a box out of this cyan terracotta. And then we're going to gather a bunch of gravel. And we're just going to see if we can get something pretty good going. I don't know if we will. But hey, I mean, you never know. You really do. You just never know. So we'll put we'll put the corner right here like this. And then we'll just sort of, we'll just sort of make a little box. It doesn't need to be too large. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three. Five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I want to make these blocks into prismarine just because, you know, we don't really have. Ooh, can you make prismarine stairs or something? I don't think so. Um, I think prismarine is one of those blocks where. I, well, I feel like you can. Maybe you can smelt it and it gives you something. I really don't know. Um, but I wanted to do this just to sort of fancy it up a little bit. Uh, people will look at this in the thumbnail and they'll be like, what? <laughs> what is this? And to be honest with you, I, I really don't know. But it's cool. We now have a farm. And I think we have the recipe for ladders as well, so that's good. I don't remember what it is, but we can check in just a second. And then we can make um, ladders. Let's see, do we have enough? To okay. I wanted to extend all these up one more. And I want to put end rods on top of them. But I need to go kill some spiders. So we'll have to go find a couple of spoders at night tonight and see if we can't get a few more end rods. And then we can make this gravel farm look really good. It still feels weird saying gravel farm, but hey, I mean, that's what it is. It truly is just a gravel farm. Um, as for getting up and down, I'd like to just use your standard slabs. So I need to figure out a way. Uh, but what I mean by gravel farm, and do I have enough to do this? No, but I'm just gonna get more. Uh, let me break out this floor. And then uh, we'll put something down here like pink terracotta or something like that. I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, I'll just build out of here real quick. And then uh, let me see. I need to make pink terracotta and then some sort of glass as well as end rods to make this build finished. Um, so, oh, we already have a little bit of iron bars. We have one end rod. Uh, we'll take the torches out. We have three string and then none in here. Is there perhaps a recipe for string? Magenta stained glass, lime stained glass, orange. 
Okay, you know what? We'll use some orange stained glass. We need diorite, oddly enough. Uh, we need diorite and cobblestone. I don't know what recipe that normally is, but... No, I don't want- I don't want panes, though. That's the thing. So that makes white stained glass. Do we have any other blocks of glass? I don't actually think we do. Uh, ooh, blue stained glass? Okay, we need a stone slab. That's an armor stand. Yeah, we have white or blue stained glass. And I have no idea how to make a stone slab. We don't have the recipe, so... We'll just leave it how it is for now. Uh, we need slabs, though. Acacia slabs is a, is a sword. Okay. <laughs> I can do that, I think. Do I have any sticks? I just collected a bunch last episode. Sticks, you know, there's no way to craft... I mean, I, there is a way to craft them, but they're super complicated to craft. So how I've been obtaining my sticks is, uh, surprisingly enough, going to the desert and breaking those little bushes. That's the only way I've figured out how to make sticks. Um, okay, 42 should be more than enough. We'll take these iron bars. Uh, how do you make iron bars? They should be in here. Uh, oh yeah, beetroot. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Do we have any... Is a beet... No, the beet... There's no way it's grown. Maybe a melon has grown? No? No melons or anything? Okay. Well, melons will give you random stuff as well when they're broken, so they can be really useful. Um, at least from what I've heard. But I haven't heard much. Um, I only watched like two episodes of the Atlantic Craft Let's Play of this, and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put this on my channel, because this is really cool. Um, yeah, this should be pretty cool. Something like this, and then just some iron bars down here, um, to make it look like it's supported. Maybe like right here? Mmm, that looks a little, that, that looks a little odd. Um, does it though? No, not really actually. Sometimes I just psych myself out about those things. I'm like, that looks weird. No, it doesn't, dude. It looks fine. Okay, so now when we walk up here, okay, cool. And then I wanted to put, can I put one iron bar and then can I put a torch on top of the iron bar? Really? Really? Okay. Well, we, we won't put iron bars up here then. I wanted to put end rods up here. We don't really have access to those right now. Ooh, that's right. Pink terracotta. That's the one thing I did forget, and I don't want this gold sword on me either. It's just a waste. How did we make purple terracotta? Oh, okay. That's actually way easier than I was uh, thinking. Uh, okay, it should be more than enough, and I even have extra. I should have just not even crafted it. But yeah, an axe would be super helpful, but I'm curious to see what we'll get from this. I'll just have to go farm a bunch of gravel and then uh, bring it down into here and then we're just gonna fill it up and then just sort of break it. I just wanted a place where I could just put a bunch of gravel. I don't know why but it just it sounded like a good idea to me. Okay? Okay? Is this such a bad thing? And then look, you just fill it up with gravel. That's literally all you do and then you just farm it. So it should be somewhat interesting to come in here with like a big load of gravel and just sort of dump it into here. Uh, we don't have a way to get out, <laughs> unfortunately, so we'll just do this, and then break it. Um, okay, maybe I should make a ladder. Mm, I think that recipe may be a little confusing, though. Um, what was a ladder? No? We never discovered a ladder, did we? Okay. Um, I think we did, but we never crafted it, so it didn't give, us, give it to us. Um, let me sleep, and then I'll come back, I'll collect some gravel. Um, off camera because it's kind of boring to watch and then after that we'll come back and hopefully we should have something pretty cool to show you guys um, At least I hope so we're gonna we're gonna mine out this whole thing full of gravel and uh, See if we can't get ourselves some uh, some cool stuff. You know what for right now. I think this will actually do just fine I wanted to put an end rod on top, but ooh, I could kill some spiders Hmm. That would make this thing a lot better but you know what? It's okay. Alright, I'm gonna go sleep and then mine gravel, and then when I come back, we'll fill it up, break it, and see what happens. Okay, well, my, uh, my smart decision to come and mine a bunch of gravel has led to, um, a conundrum? Okay, we have shears now, and a birch door. Um, it's led to a conundrum because I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough durability to mine all the gravel I just broke. So, we'll have the gravel farm ready to go, <laughs> but we won't be able to, uh, because look, this thing's going to break pretty soon. It's F3 plus H. It shows tool tips. Yeah, it has eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then break. Okay, so we'll, we'll get all the gravel that we did mine, which is over a stack, so we should be able to fill up our little uh, container of gravel. 
Um, and then we'll save that for a future episode or I'll break it by hand or something, but we don't really have a way to break it, which is unfortunate. But um, I've been eating raw beef because I don't, I don't have a furnace to cook food. You'd think by episode three you'd, le you'd at least have a furnace, right? Uh, but that's the fun thing about Scramblecraft is you don't, it's not normal Minecraft anymore. It's like Minecraft but with a really big twist, uh, which is really what I needed to revive the game. Uh, for me, further than it already has been revived. I mean, I already have a ton of fun playing it now, but when you when you mix it up this much, it's just like, you know, it's just like a whole nother game. Um, but let's go ahead and just fill this up all the way. And uh, I don't know at what rate things drop. I think you can modify it in the, uh, you can modify it in the uh, config files, but that's not something I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna have it uh, modified at all. I'm just trying to place it to make it look like a, look weird like a gravel farm <laughs> so we'll I'll take a screenshot of that eventually but we're not gonna break it for now I think for now what I'm gonna do is uh, see if I can't craft anything else to make this this thing look a little bit better because it looks weird I wanted to use a different kind of glass other than the glass that we've been using but I, I think since we already have so much of this we might as well use it um, so what I wanted to do was make little windows in the side um, like this maybe or something just to just so that you can see if there is indeed gravel inside of it now I know you can just kind of look and see that um, but at the same time hey it just looks cool I wish the iron bars wouldn't connect but eh, it's okay we can't really change that part of Minecraft I mean you could and I, th I don't think iron bars should connect to glass but I'm sure some builders use glass in a, a better and different way than me and it's probably good that it does that but for me I've never really liked that kind of stuff but it's okay Minecraft's got to be made for everyone not just one person um, let's see do I have any other cool blocks that I can make that I shouldn't be able to make at this point in the game um, that's too hard that's not that hard at all but I don't really need slabs anymore that's we already know how to craft that yeah I don't really there's not that much stuff we know how to make yet uh, which is the fun part we have so much but like to make mushroom soup we need <laughs> to make a an eye of ender <laughs> which is interesting Ooh, I, I should go out and kill some things tonight but yeah sticks sticks are hilarious sticks you need to make a furnace minecart to craft so that's something that's that's really something um, I'm gonna make some more chests which I think are wooden shovels I don't know are they I, I feel like the chests are wooden shovels yeah they are Okay, so we'll just do something like this, seven, okay. And that means that I can do two more on top of here, and then a row, and then I think that's all I'm gonna make. Cause, uh, well, we might as well make it look good. And some people would say, Neo, that doesn't look good, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, we're just gonna put all that stuff up. All right, um, I'll sort the chests in between one of these episodes because I'm not going to do it on camera. That's a boring thing to do. But I'm going to wait for it to become night. We're going to go monster hunting tonight. And uh, we're going to get some strings so we can get some end rods. And then, I guess, you know, it's only halfway through the day. So let's run around and see if we can't discover anything cool. Well, that would be considered cool in my book. Look at that big waterfall. You guys see that? That's like literally like the coolest thing ever. It's just a giant spire of water and stone. Oh, Minecraft really is beautiful. It really is. Hey, look at that. You don't see too many structures like that. I'm not sure what caused it to spawn like that, but whatever did, <laughs> I, I maybe it's the 1.12 generator, I really don't know. Um, but it would be good to find different kinds of flowers. Uh, we know, oh, orange. Orange flowers, what do you give me? Lime concrete powder, ew. Poppies give me the white stained glass. And then sunflowers give me brown bed. No, acacia doors. So flowers are just, they're just interesting. Uh, most of the recipes I've gotten are garbage from them, but like an oxide daisy I think is a brown bed, isn't it? No, it's yellow dye. So a lot of the recipes are just really weird. Uh, but I mean, granted, I think that's how it's supposed to be. But that's actually really cool, and I can't see it because of the clouds now, but... Um, it looks like it's becoming night. I think it's just because there's a big thing right there blocking the sun. That's what's cool about the shaders, but you can see the the sun moving. Do you see how it, like the, sh the shadows move with the which w whatever direction the sun is blocking and casting the shadow? It's pretty cool. I've always liked shaders. Some people don't like them, but the majority, when I asked, at least in my live streams, everyone said that they would prefer if shaders were on. 
Um, and that's only if it doesn't get too dark. Because if it gets too dark, then people can't see, and I'm not going to be able to run really soon, oh no. But sometimes it does get too dark, I will admit. And uh, I'll do my best to turn them off if I remember to. Oh, there's a village. That's like the third or fourth village. That's the third village we've found thus far. Mmm, there could be some good stuff in here, though. Like, for instance, some beetroot. Yay, so we can make a bunch more iron bars. <laughs> Does that make sense, or what? Um, that's carrots. I don't think carrots give you a... See, but when you smelt things, they also give you random stuff. So I'm going to grab a block of acacia wood like this. And uh, we'll go in there and we'll smelt some stuff and see if we can't... If there's a blacksmith, there may actually not be. Ooh, iron bars. <laughs> see, that, that, that totally makes sense, doesn't it? I do like the acacia villages, though. They are kind of pretty. I would like it if I could find a library, because then I could experiment with bookcases. But unfortunately, guys, I don't think this is a very big village. Yeah, it's really not. I think villager trades might be also a big key to success. 20 string is one emerald. 18 coal is one emerald. Cooked fish? Oh, man, you'll cook my six fish for an emerald? Wow, you're so nice. String? Arrows? No, I don't really need that stuff. Uh, what do you sell? 20 wheat for one emerald. One emerald for three bread? Dude, you're a scam artist. Get out of here. I don't, I don't want your trades. You guys are mean. Um, but yeah, we should be able to make a bunch more iron bars. More than I think I will need for my purposes. Alright, well let's head back before it gets too dark. I will come back when we're getting close to home. I'm gonna have to walk it like this. Actually, you know what? I have carrots. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna run home and then meet you guys back there. Looky. Looky what I found. Alright, pumpkins could be... They could prove to be helpful. What is a jack-o'-lantern? That gives us one leather. And that gives us melon seeds. Okay, well we already have both of those things, but... Uh, we might as well collect a few of these pumpkins, just for good measure. I'm gonna start growing carrots too, I really need to. They're super helpful. Uh, and there's sheep, I don't really need to kill those, so we'll leave them alone. Uh, maybe at some point, because I know gray wool gives us something pretty good, but yeah. I'm definitely going to grow carrots at some point pretty soon. I'm going to fight some spiders too, but I know it's really dark, so I won't show you guys. Uh, but I'm going to fight some spiders too before I get home. So a block of iron equals arrows. That's what I've discovered in this night fight so far. I hate fighting stuff at night. I guess it's the only way to really fight stuff, but... Man, creepers are so... Oh my gosh, the skeleton shot the creeper towards me. Uh, uh, mobs will also give you random drops. Uh, just periodically. I um, also got a random effect on my body that I've never seen before, so I want to figure out what that is. Uh, and these skeletons seem... They're, they've always been OP. I know it's really dark. I got an armor stand. Okay. And no string. But you know what? We'll just call it a night. I didn't really get anything else fun. Um, so let me go sleep, and then I'll come back and we'll do some cool stuff. Okay. I've slept. I want to plant some carrots, just because they seem to be a good food, so... Uh, we'll just throw up all this stuff for now. We don't really need it. Um, I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put the iron, the, the, the armor down because we have these iron chest plates. So, there we go. Don't have any other types of armor. We do have leggings, which they weren't a hard recipe. But I need to be at my, I need to be at my crafting table to see them. Um, so we're just gonna, I was just gonna do this. I figured this is a good way, uh, to make it look like, more like a container, I guess. Maybe have some like bars at the top, I really don't know. Um, but I thought that that would look pretty cool. We'll do something like that and then we'll go ahead and break this one. Um, or you know what, we'll leave that there. Alright, so that looks like the best, the best gravel farm I've ever personally seen. I'm happy with how it turned out. I haven't made too many gravel, gravel farms in my day. But, I do, I do think that that's the prettiest gravel farm I've ever made for sure. Um, I bet you that a melon is growing, so let's go see if we can get something cool. Because melons can give you some pretty interesting- Ooh, there we go. Yes, we got one melon, finally. Alright, will you give me something random? No, but you gave me set- Oh, <laughs> cocoa beans. Okay. Well, ah, oh, dang it, that's not how you make melon seeds. Ah, so that's why I want pumpkins. That gives me gray stained glass, which I can always try to make- Oh! Oh, I'm so stupid. And you'll find out why I said that in just a second. Um, yeah, you're, you're, I'm, I really feel stupid right now. All the glass types we have, you know how you can make panes out of glass? Well, all those recipes are scrambled, because we're playing Scramblecraft. 
Oh man, okay. That just got me a little excited. Where's my white stained glass? Okay. And we have gray as well. Let's see. What does this give me? Brown stained glass panes. Nah. Spruce wood fence. You know, I'm just going to make a little bit of those just so I have the recipes. I want to have all the recipes that I can have. I don't think there's anything else. Are iron bars used in a recipe? I feel like they are for something, but I don't remember what it is. Um, yeah, we don't really need any more iron bars. <laughs> Let's put them up. We have a we have a bit too many iron bars as is. Um, but I can make more melon seeds with the pumpkins. What does a pumpkin give you? Leather? Okay. But this gives you melon seeds. Um, what, I wonder what gives you pumpkin seeds then. I guess that's the fun part. You just don't know. It's just so random. It's so weird. Um, I would like to get a furnace. I can run back to the original village that we have, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, because those recipes can be really killer. They can give you some awesome stuff. Oh, zombie villager. Ow. Why'd you light me on fire? You're mean. Ooh, what's this going to give me? Just me- What? Okay, something weird's going on here. What did it give me? A spider eye? Is there something in here? Like a- Like something I should know about? Ow. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything to, Oh, well, I do have a pickaxe now. I have a feeling there's something in here. No, there's not. Okay. Well, I'm getting out of here. This place is gross and damp. It's all it's all nasty in here. But yeah, I wanted to plant these melon seeds. And we can just plant them really wherever. I'd like them to be in my farm, but I think it'll be okay if I put them, like, right... Oh. If I put them, like, right here. One, two. And then we'll put a third one right here. Because melons are like my favorite thing. Because they give you random stuff, and that's just good. It's good to have random stuff. Um, ooh, I wonder what pa paper? No, because we don't have a way to make paper. I was going to say, what does books give you? Or what do books give you? But I, I, it doesn't really matter, because I can't make them anyways. Alright, well, I'm going to run back to the original village. I'm going to eat something else, because I really need to eat. Uh, we'll eat some pork chops. And then, the original village is pretty far over there, so I'll come back on camera when we get there. I'm gonna steal their furnaces. And, uh, I should have picked up a furnace a long time ago, but I didn't have a pickaxe, to be fair. Uh, so let me go back there, grab that, and then we'll figure out how to craft a furnace, which is helpful. And then, uh, yeah, we should make some pretty good progress. I just had one of those big brain thoughts. And maybe we'll make next episode, we'll call it big brain moves or something i don't know something funny something catchy uh so this is where our zombie dungeon was uh you know how mobs give you random drops well if we make our standard you know dungeon mob farm or whatever we could actually get some really really good stuff right because if we just sit there and like kill like a bunch of them at once um we may end up getting some really really cool stuff um so we are starting to make some good progress we're super close to this uh to this blacksmith I can see the furnaces. They're in sight now. Look at them. We're so close. We're almost there. Can we make it? Can we make it? Because as soon as we smelt stuff, smelting things gives you random stuff. Um, obviously, like it's the same every time. It's not random every time. Uh, but yeah, how do I make a... Uh, I need a crafting table. Any of you guys got a crafting table? No? You're going to make me break your wood? Okay, fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Let's make this, and let me just see, how do you make a furnace? Because I'm super curious. Um, okay. An armor stand, that's weird. A furnace? Okay, terracotta and light blue dye. Well, yeah, what do you want, dude? 21 coal for an emerald? An iron axe. Ooh! Do we know how to make emeralds? No. Okay, well, we can do coal and then... Uh, that'd be a lot of coal, but I would love to get an iron axe, but okay. I'm going to go back to my house. Um, I've got a few pork chops on me. I killed a few uh, piggies on the way. And then uh, once we get back to the house, we'll smelt up some stuff and then call it an episode. But before we do that, I really want to see what it's going to give us. So I'll meet you guys back at home. You know, one thing I haven't seen yet, I know brewing gives you random stuff. So we'll have to try and experiment with that in the future. Um, but I haven't gotten any potion recipes, any, like, random potion recipes, so there could be something good with that. Um, but without further ado, let's try smelting some stuff. So we'll try pork chops, we'll try mutton, uh, what else can I smell? Chicken? Uh, I think that's it. Cactus I've already tried. I have three emeralds. 
Okay. I don't think I really have anything else smeltable. Carrots? I don't have potatoes where I'd smelt them. Um, you're probably like, for God's sakes, Neo, please go check that, dude. I already know raw beef doesn't give you anything good. Okay. What do pork chops give you? Iron nuggets. Okay, that's really not very helpful. What about mutton? What does mutton give you? I have a feeling it's going to be all the same thing uh, for some reason. I have an inclination that I, I don't think that's the right word. Is it all going to be? No, pink glazed terracotta. Well, um, that's I don't think I've ever had this block before. That looks cool, though, I guess. Um, what is this going to give me? Nether brick. Ooh, so if we get a, if we get a bunch of nether bricks, oh, I wonder what we're going to do. But we're going to have to find that out in episode 4. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 3. I genuinely hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys seriously again so much for all the support on this series. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to download this mod for yourself, links down in the description below for everything. Music, shader pack, all that fancy stuff. Um, next episode, maybe we'll uh, break this big gravel farm and we'll see what we can get. Big brain moves, guys. Uh, we'll have to make a mob spawner pretty soon as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!